Big Brother. It's now time to crown a new head of household who will become the most powerful player in the game. Let's head to the backyard and get things started. House guests, before we begin tonight's head of household competition, let me congratulate you. From here on out, every evicted house guest will be headed to the jury house. But you should know, just because you've made it to the jury, it doesn't necessarily mean you're out of the game. Yes. Uh -oh. With that, the power is back up for grabs. James, as outgoing head of household, you are not eligible to compete. This competition is called Midway Mayhem, and here's how it works. On my go, you'll fill up your funnel with as much gas as you can and transfer it across the yard to your gas tank. As the gas tank fills, three checkered balls will rise. When you can reach any one of your checkered balls, you'll have a decision to make. You can claim the HOH and end the game, or you can claim a prize and keep playing, either $5,000 or if you don't ever want to be a have not again, claim the never not pass. It is possible for one house guest to win all three prizes, but as soon as someone claims the HOH, the game will end. Everyone understand? Yes. 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 Great, then get on your mark, get set, go. Good job, guys. First couple. Slow and steady. <laughs> oh man, I don't know about this one. Oh, Meg. Come on. Come on, Meg. You at least gotta get two cups. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm gonna start scooching. Becky wow. is jamming. Yeah, that guy. Julia with another cupful. Liz with another cup full. Oh. How are you guys winning that? What? Not well. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm doing this right now. I'm on the ice skate. <laughs> when we return, we'll rejoin this all important HOH competition. Will the Sixth Sense Alliance take back control of the house, or will James and his crew remain in power? Stay with us. Brother, tune in Sunday to see. Now, let's check back in with the house guests in the backyard. Hello again, everyone. Hi. Everyone's looking pretty good. Woo. Hang in there, house guests, because it's going to be a long night. Good night, everyone. What does that mean, Julie? This is the hardest part. Can we go to catering now. We're off air. Did someone win yet? Whoa. James, I can hear you muttering my name in disappointment. Stop. What? No, I'm. I'm <laughs> Meg, you're killing it. You're, yeah, you're killing it. Come on, Meg. Woo! You got it, Liz. It's a winner, girl. Oh my. 
Use the glutes. Ooh, look at Becky with the, with the This balls. is one of those situations. It's a lot harder than it looks. Oi! Almost a man down! Careful, careful! Almost a man down! Slow and steady. Oh my god. Oh, oh, easy there, Julie. In this HOH competition, you can go for head of household, a cash prize, or a never not pass. You can even go for all three of these prizes. I really want revenge. James is the reason why Clay went out the door. So if I win head of household, James will be the ultimate target. Good job, Meg. Meg, I see the ball is moving. Since I can't play in this HOH comp, I definitely need Becky, Jackie, or Meg to win. You know, those are my three girls I ride or die with. I definitely don't want Shelly to win. I just sent her man home, and hell have no furry like a woman scorned. Oh, oh. shoot. Oh, that sucked. After Clay went out this week, Six Sense is down to five players, and I feel like I'm a possible target if Jackie, Meg, or Becky win, and scared of that. Come on, Meg. <laughs> Steve, you're being smart about it. Thank you. It's physics. The only person I don't want to win this head of household competition is Becky. Becky and I haven't made a particularly good connection in this game, and I'm really scared I'm going to be her target because she sees me as a threat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Liz. Now that America's sweethearts are split up, me and Julia are very vulnerable right now because we're the last power duo, and I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, that hurt me. It's hard. Going downhill on this thing, it's a little tricky because uh, you risk sometimes going a little too fast and you wipe out. Oh. 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 So loud. The hardest part about this competition is coming back up this ramp. This is difficult. I can't get any traction. I feel like I'm a baby gazelle on ice. Oh, Austin, you all right? Uh, yeah. All right. I'm looking over and I see Liz falling, and I'm hoping that she's falling as hard for me. Looks like Becky's in the fast lane. Oh! Becky is feisty right now. Oh, it's me. I feel as though I've been under the radar. I want to make a big move and let people know I'm here to play, and I want to win this HOH. Gaga. -ga. Julia, you're killing it, girl. Looks like Becky's in the lead with Julia close behind. I have to hear James on the sidelines, cheering on everybody except for me. I just have to tune him out. It's so annoying, and all that's doing is making me want to win this and put him up on the block even more. Meg, I think I saw a turtle pass you. Shut up, Jamesy. Remember how I told you I was going to be bad at this? I'm actually worse than I thought. I don't know how that's possible. Come on, Grandma. I seem to be the grandma in the carpool lane that you can't pass in this competition. I got to pump the brakes because I feel like I'm losing control. Meg gets her third cup. Yeah, I can't stand you. <laughs> Meg looks like a 80-year-old that just had hip surgery and does not want to fall. Come on, Grandma. Grandma Meg, you're going to win this fall. Totally winning. If everybody quits. Time to get your rear in gear. All right. Yeah, ladies. All right, girls. Good job, guys. Girl power in this house, man. Uh, James? Hey, I need you guys to step it up. Dead incline, though. This HOH is the most important HOH for me yet because a couple hours earlier, I just went from going under the radar, being a floater, to being one of the biggest targets in the house. We'll do what's best for our game and I hope people don't hate us for that. No, I agree, man, I agree. I mean, my personal opinion is I don't think it's fair for someone to give their game up just because of love. I hear you. He's not thinking straight. <sighs> yeah. Hello, you 
on my word to send you home. I'll do that. But it's not the best thing for my game for you to go. Why? Because I feel like Vanessa is in Shelly's head. I've been observing Vanessa and I see that every time there's a blow up, she's involved with it. I'm on to her and I want to put a stop to it. <sighs> Vanessa's been on my side for a while now and I feel loyalty to her. So I felt the need to make sure that she talked to Johnny Mac and clears the air and makes sure that everything's good on their side. I went up to Johnny Mac because James is telling him that you're in Shelly's head and that you are going up to Johnny Mac. I'm going up to Johnny Mac. James is telling Johnny Mac. Just that well, Why did I do that? I'll let him, just let him know. Hey, James. Can I talk to you alone for a second? Yeah. Okay. Do you have something against me personally? No. Okay, well, because it's gotten back to me that you're throwing my name out there, and I really don't know why. Like, I've said how I was going to vote. I honestly care less which one goes home. All right. I'm just doing because Clay asked me to. All right. Um, do you have a problem with that? No, I don't. Um, I just told everybody uh, a minute ago that that was the whole objective, just to split them up. Um, That's what I thought it was. Yeah. Okay, but then why would you go tell Johnny Mac that I'm in Shelly's head and that he needs to vote her out because something to do with me? I didn't. I swear. I swear on my little girl, I didn't. So you didn't just go tell Johnny Mac? No, I did not. What? Who the f is lying here? Like, Vanessa, I have I'm not like lied to you about so anything. Hard. And I swear I really, to God, I would not put that on my little girl. I, I know you wouldn't. We need to get down to the bottom of because I would like to confront that person. Well, Clay told me that. Shh. Clay told me Johnny Mac told him that. Like, that pisses me off, Vanessa. That actually pisses me off. Like, I don't understand. I'm not, I swear I'm not going to put, I'm not going to call your name out, but I'm just going to tell Clay to keep my name out of his mouth. Well, you know what? It's time to go confront the big bad wolf. I didn't want this to happen, but it's got to go down because my name's already been drug in the dirt. I got a big target on my back, and I don't need any more of this stuff. Clay, I don't know how much time you got left in this house, but I advise you to keep my name out of your mouth. Shut up. You shut up. Got to hear what you talking about. Coward. Can I speak to you? Mm-hmm. Did, did, did James tell you that I'm gunning for you? No. He did? No. You stressing about nothing, boss? All right. Because unlike you, I'm ready to go. Oh, you are? Yeah. OK. Yeah. All right. But unlike you, I don't have to freaking lie. Oh, really? Yeah, really. How about that? Yeah. I'm going to walk away from the dude. What, are you going to hit me or something? Uh, you guys, calm down. You gonna hit me or don't, something, don't, Clay? No, no, don't come to me again like that. I'm telling you right now. Don't come to me like that again. You get out of my face, Clay. Don't come to me like that again. You think I'm lying? You guys out the door next week. I don't care. Right out the door. You guys, calm down. All this freaking lying that you've been doing. You're right. I, I've been lying. Yeah. Putting my name in people's mouths. And... I've got time for you. Okay, so it's really easy to figure out. Okay, Johnny said James didn't say that. Say what? Okay, you told me that Johnny told you that James came to him and said, Vanessa's in Shelly's ear and they're both gunning for you. And that is the no, reason I said he needs that, to vote out Shelly. I said that you are in Shelly's head. Right, and that we're yes. gunning for Johnny Mac. No, that you're going to target him. Yeah. And who told you that? I think I came up with that. You came up with that? Yeah. Oh, it sounds like it came from that. you, Clay. And if you think you're going to one-up me on this one, oh, this is not cool. Vanessa. Dude, I've had your back a million percent. Let me tell you how not cool this is. I can see through this. I mean, this is like, this is like Vanessa, very obvious to Vanessa, me. Vanessa, Vanessa, Vanessa. Was it Clay who said it? I said it. You actually think I'm gunning for you and I'm in Shelly's head? Based mm -hmm. on what? It's just the way things are like coming together in my head because no one tells me any information around here. You and I both know you didn't come up with that on your own. That's I, not possible. I did. It's not possible. I don't believe it. And then and where'd you come up with that it came from James? <laughs> Maybe I assumed that then. I don't know. It just seems like you're lying. I'm telling okay, you well, straight up, lying. it seems then like you're lying. It actually does. I mean, it I'm seems lying. like you're lying. Okay, I'm lying. I'm telling you, it seems like you are, and well, I don't then, understand. Okay. Like, why would you I do mean, this? I mean, I'm telling you right now that I've never lied to you. I'm not lying but to you. But why? So. Like, I don't understand. Right. I don't know. Like, I don't understand he's lying, dude, he's lying. I'm telling you plain as day, he's lying, and I don't know why. Like, why would you do Take this? Take 100% of my lying, but I'm not gonna explain myself. I already told you the truth, that's it. Clay. What, I'm not gonna sit here and plead like that I'm not lying when I'm not. 
I'm really, I just, I'm so honestly confused. Here comes Vanessa, Ray's voice and water falling down her face. Like, here we go again. This is, this is nothing new. This is like the sixth time this has happened. Like, man, like what the, why? What just happened? Clay came to me and said, that James told Johnny Mac that I'm in your ear and we are both gunning for Johnny. James' argument that, was that to vote you out. That me and you are gunning for John? Correct. <laughs> so Clay wouldn't what... make that up because Clay okay. would not make so that up on, to hold say on. that to John. But Clay, but Clay said it to me. I have no earthly idea what this whole thing is about and why I was dragged into it. I, I, what I think really is happening, I think Clay must have said it to Johnny and I think Johnny's backing Clay up and trying to say he made it up out of his own head. Clay, like I've been playing this game with, like in the house with you for 50 days now, you don't do things for no reason. That makes no sense. Like, you're not insane. Like, why would you just do something out of left field to stir up drama that's not you? They're not gonna give you the answer you want. Is that this answer you want? You're looking for more when there's nothing more. I know what the more is, Clay. Most smart girl, you knew that. I know exactly why you did it. And if you think so I'm not gonna, stay, if you think I'm right. not gonna put the exactly truth out there, then dude, you're wrong. Okay. You're either gay lovers or you're related. Like, that's the only thing that makes any damn sense to me. I told Vanessa to come to you and make sure that y'all were good. I didn't know she would go back and tell James and then freak out like that. Because James did not tell me that. Yeah, but you told me that right there. No, I said I did it. I said, well, I, uh, I, I, I don't trust you. Vanessa. You said that Vanessa was in her head. That's what it seemed like out of the two. So you assumed that? Yeah. You said uh, when you told James that? No, I didn't tell James anything. <sighs> this is going to huge misunderstanding. Vanessa is a very smart player, but she is a loose cannon. Her emotions can go from zero to 80 in like less than a second. Do you think that, can, that Vanessa could ever make me turn on you? Uh, she's good. After the, you were nominated, she threw your names under the bus. I She did this crying bull that she does every time. She's too emotional. It sent Jeff home. Ended up sending Audrey home. It sent Jason home. It did send Jason. It's sending one of you home. It sent me home. Shelly, she's she's good. None of none of this has been on her. None of not no. She's gonna take out us and to save herself. Every time. Proceed with caution. to win HOH this week to make sure I'm safe from the block and to make sure Vanessa goes home. Approaching the halfway mark, Becky still in the lead. Close behind, Jackie and Shelly. Last week was a rough one. I was up on the block next to my number one ally in this house, but I'm still here. I'm out for revenge, I'm out for blood. I've got to do this one. Approaching the halfway mark, Becky still in the lead. Well, Becky. Close behind, Julia, Jackie, John, and Shelly. Good work, you guys. Time to rev it up. <laughs> I just revved it up. Man, oh man, am I hoping that either Julia or me pulls this one out. Oh, yikes. That was ugly. Talk about crash and burn. <laughs> I'm spilling a lot. Wow, OK. I realize there is no way I'm winning this competition. I'm trying the running strategy now. I am playing against Austin to see who is the slowest. <laughs> oh, God, Austin. Nope. <laughs> oh, God, are you OK? Austin takes a gnarly fall. I'm sure glad I ain't competing in this one. Ooh, ow. Nice one, Steve. Oy. There's five of us going for this thing right now. It is Becky, Julia, me, Jackie, and Shelly. Yeah, so I, I gotta make sure that I'm keeping pace with everyone else, just in case Becky got hit by lightning or something. 
this point, I'm out of the running to win, so I'm gonna be rooting for my Alliance members to win this thing. It's been a rough week for Sixth Sense. Hopefully we can turn it around. Damn, Becky. If Shelly wins HOH this week, I am up the creek without a paddle. I'm screwed, I'm done. I wonder how many miles we've done on this thing. Oh my God. Steve? I don't know. Becky almost there. Becky's pulling ahead, and I'm like, oh yeah, girl, go Becky, go. Becky is on my side, and we both want to get Shelly out. <laughs> I'm good. Ooh, it looks really slippery out there. Everyone is slipping and sliding all over the place, and I look over at Becky, and she's pulling way ahead. The girl gets hit by a train, and she's freaking superwoman. Becky is pulling forward in this competition, but I can't give up yet. I've got to win this one for Clay. Becky, you're full. Austin! Oh. I'm good. The train can't stop her. No. Hell no! You deserve it, girl. It's coming down to the wire. And I look around and notice that I have a very strong lead. I'm gonna try to get the HOH, but I kinda wanna try for these other two prizes first. Oh yeah, she got a ball. So, I start with the have not pass first. Never not. Boom, yeah, that's 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 and continue up the way. Five grand! There goes the medical Congratulations, Becky. You are the new head of household. Sure enough, this Colorado girl has won HOH. And on top of that, I will never be a have now and I have $5,000. Yeah. That's Becky. I'm pretty sure that the house will be shocked at who I really want to send home this week. I'm ready to take out a big fish. Becky winning this competition is absolute worst case scenario. I can totally be her target because I know she's threatened by me. I'm really nervous about what Becky's gonna do. I feel a little bit nervous at Becky's HOH simply because when I was in power, Becky was all about us. But then when the enemy got in power, Becky's been all about the enemy. So now that Becky's in power, which side is she gonna go with? That was impressive. One, two, and wow. three. Goodness. I walk past the memory wall with Clay's face in gray. 